Now, um, th there was some sort of situation that happened with you during plastic surgery. <laughs> I tried. I tried to get lipo in Brazil. Okay, why? I mean, why Brazil? Well, Brazil. I know Brazil is the plastic surgery capital. That's what I heard. I've I've been to Brazil a bunch of times. I could attest. I could attest that there's definitely a lot of modified. Beautiful people, people though, yeah? yeah. Very, very beautiful people. Okay, so I went to Brazil on a trip. I took my sister. I took my coworker, and I took. I want to say it was like my nanny, who's also Brazilian. Okay. We were going because it was her son's birthday, and I had this harebrained idea, like. After watching all the modified people, <laughs> your word, yeah. I um, was like, I want to be a modified person. I said, I was like, I had a, it was a very dumb, spontaneous decision, and I was like, I want to get lipo while I'm here. So I, what, what what was the exact thing that you were supposed to get? I just wanted my stomach. I just wanted because I had just had a baby. Okay, it wasn't my, like a fat transfer or anything else like that. No, no transfers. I just wanted just, to suck the fat out. Okay, just get the fat out, throw it to the. Dolphins, I don't know. Wherever it goes. <laughs> Wherever fat goes, give it to them. The dolphins. So I don't know. Make Love a steak. It. I don't know. Whatever you're going to do. Kay. I just didn't want it on me. Okay. So um, I thought I was just going to get a little lipo on my tummy because I just had a baby. I had a little pouch. I didn't give it the time. And I was going through the whole, I was married. And I was like, I'm going to look so good for Valentine's Day. I was but, but they actually have, like, I know, you know, especially in Beverly Hills, um, uh, I think I was talking to... Uh, Amber Rose about it, you know, and she was saying how like she got her C-section and there's a plastic surgeon right there to like oh my God. fix see, it all up, you know. See, it's like, new age stuff. Her yeah. baby's like two. They came up. See, every year I think they come up with some. They reinvent the wheel. They they have ways that you can weave your eyebrows now. I just read that. I was yeah. like, you can get an eyebrow transfer. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So you went to Brazil. I mean, why why Brazil as opposed to like you know like a but top listen, surgeon in the U.S. I didn't go to Brazil for surgery. You just happened to be in Brazil? No, no, no. My nanny was Brazilian and her children were still, are still, they, they didn't have, um, you know, their visas or whatever to come here. So I was like mad about something with my ex and I was like, you want to go to Brazil? So it was a spontaneous trip to Brazil. It wasn't for a surgery. Uh, Once there, I was like, oh, and I can get <laughs> double, <laughs> you know, double up and get surgery while I'm here. That wasn't why I went to Brazil. Okay. Yeah. So you were like... I'm already here, let me go. I was like, I'm here, and I was there on vacation. I wasn't doing anything. And I sent my kids to California, or to Las Vegas with their dad, uh -huh. with another nanny. I was like, I'm about to get this done. And they were like, oh, two, three days recovery. You'll be a little sore like you worked out. Please, I was a little dead. That <laughs> was a little. So, so yeah. something went wrong. Um, when they anesthetized me to do the anesthesia, yeah. I went into cardiac arrest, my heart. Oh, my wow. heart just flipped out. Yeah, I, I must have been allergic, or they put a uh, damn embalming fluid. I don't know what they <laughs> they, they do something. Well, I mean, but well, this was a real doctor, real hospital. This was a legitimate, and he spoke English. And um, I went and had blood work done. I did all of the stuff, like blood oh. work. You know, don't eat after midnight. You know, all the rules they give you with surgery. And child, I don't know. It was. It, my heart was like, nah. So it technically could have happened in the U.S. It could have happened anywhere. If you did the same, the same surgery. Well, here's the, the, well, what I don't know is do they use the same um, anesthesia here? I don't know. Okay. So it the could have been. rules are a little more lax when you leave the country. And they may have <laughs> used too much. Yeah. You know? So, like, I look back at the, the old medical chart and I'm like, what does that say in Portuguese? What did they do? <laughs> I don't know if they used, you know, if they had given me a little too much of the right. stuff to put you under. And that can happen here as well. Um, I don't know, but it was so stupid. Like, come on, you had a baby three months ago. You, you have a pooch because you have a big uterus. You just had a baby. Hello? Yeah. Why are you going to be insecure based off of comments, right. based off of blogs? So based you think that that kind of drove you? Oh, sure. Hmm. Sure. I was... I. I won't say that I'm ever led by what anyone said, because today they, anyone can say whatever they want, and I'll sit there stone-faced like... <laughs> Right. Meet me at, you know where to find me. Like my attitude is yeah. different now. <laughs> but then I think I was just very vulnerable. I was just so, um, I, I just didn't know how to take this whole thing. It was just new for me. I'm from Oakland. So so Usher didn't even know you were going to do it. No, hell no. No, absolutely not. Because he would have probably talked you out of it. 
Probably, because yeah. he he's always, you know, he was always an advocate. I love you how you are. Yeah. I, I married you, you know. What, what, what was what was his reaction when he found out what happened? Well, you got to remember, I was out. I was in a coma. So. Oh, you went into a coma? Oh, yeah. So I don't know what his reaction wow. was. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't and how, know. how long were you in a coma? I think they said like two or three days I was under. I, I, I want to say so, they so said you, it was you a... Could, you could have died. Oh, oh, for sure. Okay. I was definitely flatlined, and so. Oh, you flatlined. I flatlined. They had to boom, boom, bring me back. So you, you technically died and came. Checked back. out. Do you remember? Peaced out. Any of that, or you just under so much I don't anesthesia? remember anything. My sister said when I woke up, I was like looking for my jewelry. That's crazy. You yeah. wake up like, where's my wait? Because <laughs> no, I, I remember I interviewed uh, this one guy, Kafani, who's actually from the Bay as well. Uh, he 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 got shot up real bad, and he actually died on the way. To the hospital, they had to re they resuscitated him in the in the parking lot, and, and he actually told me he's like, I remember actually dying, and it kind of sort of felt like going to sleep. It wasn't really like a struggle or anything. He's like you kind of felt you, you kind of let yourself you sort go. of fade. I would imagine. Go and you know what I mean. This is hmm. one of those things everyone thinks they know, but he knows. Yeah, he actually knows. And you know what's funny when you you say that, I just remember being relaxed. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember any stress. I don't remember any pain. Um, well, first of all, when they when they take you to go get anesthesia, they give you like something to you know kind of put you out. Yeah. I remember counting backwards, you know, count to ten backwards because you're supposed to knock out, and then they give you whatever. Yeah. So I remember the count, the part in the when they were pushing me down the hallway, and I was counting backwards. I remember that, and the rest I don't. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I mean, dying is a natural part of, of life. I hate it. I don't. You know? I don't get that. You know, I know it is. I know but, dying is a part. Well, this of is what life. I mean by the calmness of it. Like, you know, it's such a messed up. I wish um, that God would kind of explain it to us better. You know what I mean? Or kind of uh, prepare us better. Like we're we're prepared to see flowers. We're prepared to see these other beautiful things. Yeah. You're prepared to have crab legs. You're prepared for certain things. Yeah. But you're not prepared for death ever. Like whenever it happens, everybody acts like, oh my God, grandma. Like she was 110. What you? you know what I mean? We yeah. never are prepared for uh, death. Death is one of those, those ones I'll never get. So you came, you came out of the coma. Yes. Uh, Usher was there when, uh, when yep. you came out. Yep. Was he freaking out? No, he no. was calm. My room was calm. There was candles. It was very zen. Okay. Wusa. I woke up like, y'all didn't do this shit. <laughs> what the? <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Cut. No, what? No. I woke up. They didn't do anything. They hadn't done any surgery. So, but, but you didn't even know what happened. I didn't know. I yeah. just was in the hospital with like catheters and IVs, and I was snatching everything out. Oh, really? I did. That's that. I do know. I woke up snatching stuff like, where am I and why am I and why are these people speaking Portuguese? And yes. I mean, uh, when you when you look at the situation now and, you know, obviously this was not an operation that you needed to do. It was it was a van it was completely vanity. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like, for example, you look at what happened to Kanye's mom. It's crazy. You know, somewhat of a similar situation. Very similar. You know, I mean, doing a bunch of plastic surgery, even though certain doctors told her not to do it. See, but I don't, I don't want to speak on it because I don't know what they told her. I don't, I don't know. But, I, but I had heard that she was turned down by doctors until that, she. But that's what media said, so we don't know. Okay, fair enough. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. Fair enough. That's what we read because you, yeah. if you read my story, I probably got a sex change and a <laughs> and yeah. a facelift and. A <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Remember, so you can't go by what media says, and I know you're media. No, well, you're right. But I have seen the the most bogus lies being told about myself. So whenever I'm speaking on anybody in the media, I take it with kind of a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Well, but I mean, but but, but the fact does remain that she did pass yeah. from a plastic surgery or like complications related complications or from sure. from a plastic surgery, and you almost passed from complications right. of plastic surgery. You know, we we reported on a lot of different stories. You know, there was a story we had put up of a girl who had illegal butt shots and lost her arms and legs. You know, literally the infection made right. her arms and legs fall off. 
Um, there's a story about, you know, this girl named um, Pebbles the model that was referring girls mm. for illegal butt shots. One of the girls died. Now she's doing like seven years in prison. You know, wow. like you, you see a lot of a lot of really kind of disturbing stuff, you know, with women tr just trying to look better. You know, you, you don't see a lot of this in the, in the I'm sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. you, but you just don't see a lot of this in the male, you know, I mean, the, there's guys who go to jail trying to get that money, you know, or get killed trying to make some right. money. Sure. You know, and I guess that's kind of the equivalent. Right. But, you know, it's, it's definitely, definitely. Same uh, pressures, though. Yeah. You see what I mean? You're still throwing your life away. Yeah. One way or the other. Uh, it's, it's all about image. It yeah. all goes back to image. They're, they're, they'll throw their lives away and take risks. They'll risk killing a family with some bad heroin or, or destroying a family, getting a mom addicted to cocaine, mm. you know, for the money. That's still throwing away a family because it's generational curses after that. So um, it's all about image. And it's sad. It's sad, sad, sad. We're in a really tough time. And I, I don't. It's funny, I always look for when it's going to change and I don't see, I don't see it anytime soon. No, I mean, because now you really have total body transformations now that are possible just in the last few years. I mean, right. butts, thighs, like all this was not possible five years Men ago. Men can get a six pack and you can get eyebrows. That still messes me Men up. Men can get a six pack? Men can, you're like, what? What doctor is that? No. <laughs> no. I know there's these shirts you can wear. No, like, under no, your no. Shirt you can, they, like they, you do, <laughs> they, they can carve and sculpt. They can scope abs. Yes. Men get weaves. Men get weaves, that right. Threw, that threw me off. I, a man weave? Yeah. And well, I mean, they actually have, John like, Travolta has a lace front. What the hell? The world is tripped Well, well you out. could do, I mean, you could actually move your, um, uh, what do you call it? Hairline. Your hairline now. You know, they could actually create new hairlines for you, you know, by taking follicles from one part of your head into another. and. Well, that's not moving your hairline. That's just a hair transplant. Like Bosley, you mean? Right, but they could actually create a new hairline. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Not not just sure. fix the parts that are balding. I mean, literally create an entirely new hairline. Well, where are they getting the hair from? Other parts of your head. And then what are you going to do back there? I think, I think those grow back. I don't know. You know something? I'm just talking right now. But just don't I, get that, okay? <laughs> just don't that? get that. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm cool. Take it just some Beijing uh, and I'm spray cool. it all in. <laughs> Beijing, I Every know, morning. A little foam stuff they can yeah. do. Um, but, you know, you know, back to what we were talking about, how do you look at pl plastic surgery now, now that you've gone through that? You know, I say to each his own. For me, I'm okay. I'm cool on it. Mm -hmm. but, I, but, but I'm not saying I would never do it. I'm not saying I would never do it, but I would never be put to sleep. I would never be anesthetized. Unless I had to, you know, like a heart, you know, something serious, but yeah. no elective surgery going, you know, getting put under because I could have literally left my children an orphan. You know, all of my children would have been orphans. Yeah. Um, they wouldn't have had a mom. They didn't have dads, so not technically orphans. Not orphans, because, but orphans come on. means no parents, yeah. I know, I know. It's extreme, but I think a mom is so necessary, yeah. in, you know, in a kid's life, especially in the formative years when they're young, you know, between two and six, when they're like, really molding and my kids were that young mm -hmm. so my smaller children um would have missed some serious maternal bonding that would have been stupid yeah. i would have slapped myself in my casket <laughs> like seriously it's not worth it